You're watching Rumor Has It. I'm Emily Dreyfus. And I'm Corrine Levy. And today's episode is called iPhone 5, iPad Mini, The Reckoning. Because it's our last show before the rumored September 12th Apple event. Which means that we have to place all our final bets. No more stalling. On this episode, all our chips are on the table. I already have a humiliation day bet going that the iPad mini will not come out with the iPhone 5. <laughs> I bet you wish you could take that prediction back because when you lose, I'm going to make you sing Rihanna songs dressed like a duck. I'm not wearing a duck suit, but okay. Before we go that far, let's take a look at all the iPhone 5 and iPad mini rumors. We'll vote on them and then we'll give you guys a chance to see if I'm going to have to wear a duck suit or if I can dress Karina in whatever I want. And if the new iPhone doesn't come out on September 12th, I guess I canceled my dentist appointment for nothing. First up, we've got a video from Smartphone Medic, a phone repair service in South Carolina. The video shows the front plate of the alleged new iPhone being 30% larger than the 4S's, and the camera and proximity sensors have moved. The video also shows some internal cable components, including one for an 8-pin connector. What on earth is a South Carolina phone repair guy doing with a video of the most sought after rumored device on the planet? I know, and if he did have those components, wouldn't they have made him sign some document saying that he wouldn't take a shaky camera video of all the <laughs> stuff? Now for the iPad mini, the unicorn that might headbutt me with its horn if Apple unleashes it into the wild. The most damning rumor that the smaller iPad is a real product comes from All Things D, a site we read and respect. The report cites several unnamed sources, drink, who claim to know that the iPad mini will be unveiled after the iPhone 5 at a separate event in October. <laughs> Great, that's when I rescheduled my dentist appointment. <laughs> anyway, Makotakara, a site I like to pronounce but don't necessarily trust, says a trusted Asian source insists that the smaller tablet will be called the iPad mini. First off, drink. And second off, there's literally no news here, Makotakura. If every iPad mini rumor was as flimsy as this, then I wouldn't worry at all about the fact that I have a humiliation day bet riding on this. Duck costume. <laughs> Finally, Chinese site gizchina.com claims it has photos of an iPad mini case. And the kicker, it has a hole for a rear-facing camera, supposedly. Or it's just something they 3D printed themselves or cut out of a fruit roll-up. Who knows? Next up, Apple Insider has been busy looking over pictures of an alleged unicorn iPhone 5 from Taiwan-based blog Apple Pro. All the pictures are basically the usual, a home button, a camera, but one component stood out to Apple Insider because it's never before been seen in an iPhone. It's what could possibly be an NFC chip. Now, NFC is sort of a digital wallet that's starting to gain traction in Europe, but it's still in its infancy here in the US. Although a couple of Android phones use it, I'm sure that the minute people hear it's being used in the next iPhone, it'll take off all crazy here too. For our final rumor, we tip our hat to the one dude at our office who is good at math. He counted up all the iPhones that have ever been and noticed something odd. The one that we hope is coming out soon is not actually the fifth phone. Remember that 4S disappointment? But it's actually the sixth. So could it be called the iPhone 6? And then skip the number five completely? Like, I guess they skipped number two. Others have suggested that numbers are like so last year and Apple will do away with them completely. In the name of simplicity, the new iPhone could be called, well, the new iPhone. Just like the new iPad and the new Coke. Did I just date myself? Yes, you did. <laughs> I think it's going to be called the new iPhone. See, and I think it's going to be called the iPhone 5. Oh, we got a game here, folks. What do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be called the new iPhone, the iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7? Don't forget to vote in our poll if you're watching on CNET. Meanwhile, we're going to go ask the people on the streets of San Francisco what they think. Do you have any ideas about what it could be called? Um, probably just the iPhone 5. They usually go with simple. I would guess iPhone 5. They probably will call it the iPhone 6. Based on what they've done so far, it would make sense that it would be the 5 again. I think it'll be the new, new iPhone. I think that's probably the way they're going to go. Just then they can put out new releases without committing to whether it's a big release or a small release. So it'll just always be the iPhone. They should branch out, maybe call it something like the Apple Connect. Superphone, Gigaphone, I don't know, something like that iPhone 4S is kind of lame. Let's think. iPhone 5. What would be a good name for that? R2-D2. They should call it that. <laughs> no, seriously. Come on, R2-D2. He can do everything. Like. So the folks on the street didn't really seem to think that the iPhone's going to be called the iPhone 6, but they had some interesting ideas. Let's go back upstairs and see what the CNET Council thinks. 
The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously, because these are rumors, folks. And the CNET verdict is... It will not be called the iPhone 6. Not a single CNET editor thinks that it'll be called 6. Although three of them do think that it'll be called just the new iPhone. And one lonely editor thinks it might not be called iPhone at all. <laughs> I bet that guy's glad he's anonymous or readers would send him tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Our comment of the week comes from jpolk84, who writes, Do it in the old lady by the crick voice. Okay. I once posted a picture of my cable remote and my Apple remote on Facebook with the caption, Why I wish Apple owned the cable company. Nuff said. <laughs> I love that this person didn't just comment, but had to comment about the fact that they had previously commented on it on a social media website. <laughs> That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com and tweet to us. And thanks to this week's sponsor, eBay. See you next time when we'll find out if the iPhone 5 was released on September 12th.